She is known for being an American ichthyologist and a prominent figure in the field of fish science. She is recognized for her groundbreaking contributions to the study of fish, particularly as the first woman ichthyologist in the United States. Her name is Rosa Smith Eigenman. In the world of ichthyology, one name stands out, Rosa Smith Eigenman, a trailblazing American scientist and writer. Born in the late 19th century, Eigenman shattered gender barriers and made significant contributions to the field. She not only became the first woman ichthyologist in the United States but also served as a curator at the prestigious California Academy of Sciences. Eigenman's passion for fish and aquatic life led her to publish 12 papers of her own between 1880 and 1893, showcasing her deep knowledge and expertise. Additionally, she collaborated with her husband, Carl H. Eigenman, on 25 more works during the same period. Together, they described around 150 species of fishes, leaving an indelible mark on the scientific community. Eigenman's achievements did not stop there. She also made history as the first woman to become president of Indiana University's chapter of Sigma Xi, an esteemed science society. Her leadership and dedication paved the way for future generations of women scientists, breaking down barriers and inspiring others to follow their passion for scientific inquiry. Rosa Smith Eigenman's legacy as a pioneering ichthyologist and advocate for gender equality in science is a testament to the power of determination and perseverance. Her contributions to the field of ichthyology continue to be celebrated, reminding us of the immense impact that individuals can have on scientific progress and the importance of inclusivity in the scientific community. In the late 19th century, Rosa discovered a unique species of blind goby in the underwater caves of San Diego's Point Loma Peninsula. This groundbreaking discovery sparked her passion for the natural sciences and set her on a path to become an esteemed ichthyologist. Rosa wasted no time in sharing her findings with the scientific community. In 1880, she published her first articles, including on the occurrence of a species of cremnibates at San Diego, California, in the proceedings of the U.S. National Museum. Her work also caught the attention of the American Museum of Natural History, which published several of her articles. After further training at Indiana University, Rosa returned to San Diego and dedicated herself to documenting and describing various fish species, including the blind goby. By the age of 28, she had already published several papers in the proceedings of the U.S. National Museum, solidifying her reputation as a respected researcher. Despite her achievements in the scientific field, Rosa faced challenges as a woman in academia. Nevertheless, she persevered and even took on the role of a journalist, becoming a reporter for the San Diego Union. Her determination to excel in her career was evident as she continued to write and edit scholarly papers alongside her journalistic work. In 1887, Rosa married Carl Eigenman, and the couple embarked on a collaborative research journey. They studied the Agassi collections of South American fishes at Harvard University and published their first joint study in 1888. Their research on South American freshwater fishes received recognition and was published in esteemed scientific journals. Upon returning to California, the Eigenmans established a biological station in San Diego and continued their fish studies in the region. They also held positions as curators at the California Academy of Sciences, further solidifying their standing in the ichthyological community. Rosa Eigenman's dedication and contributions to the field of ichthyology were substantial. She authored 12 published papers on her own and collaborated with her husband on 25 more. Their extensive research and publications made them authoritative figures in the scientific community. Rosa believed that women in science should be judged on the same merits as their male counterparts. She advocated for proper recognition of women's academic accomplishments, emphasizing that their work should not be merely appreciated based on gender but rather on its own merit. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.